At ease, brothers. I got a question. Why did you choose her? Who you talking about, soul? I'm talking about the woman you with. What made you choose her? Google them said it's 3.9 billion women on the planet. And all I'm asking you right now, brothers, is why her? Who you talking about, soul? I'm talking about the woman you've been dating off and on for a decade. I'm talking about the woman you married to. I'm talking about the woman that you met at the club last night that's that's in the shower right now while you watching this video. Can I get a witness? I'm talking about the woman that you entertain that's married, that you entertain when her husband is out of town driving trucks, is out of town on business. Why did you choose her? Why did you choose the woman that, that you know whose DM you had to jump in? Why did you choose the woman that, that worked behind the cash register at the gas station on the block that just looked so good? Like, why her? 3.9 billion. Why her is all I'm asking. And what I'm really asking is, what, what made you decide to, 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 to be intimate? What, what made you decide to exchange body fluids? What made you exchange uh, 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 stir souls with this woman? What, what made you want to become one with this woman? That's really what I'm asking. Why her? What, what about her ma, ma, You know, made you choose her, brothers? That's the only question I'm asking. And the reason I'm asking, man, is because I'm understanding now that most men choose the women in their lives on whatever level that is. Most men choose the women in their lives like a game of pickup basketball. Like, like, a, like a game of basketball when we were in the third and fourth grade, when you pull up on the you pull up to the park and you don't know nobody. Everybody don't nobody know nobody, man. So everybody picking teams. And you like, I want the brother this, I want the brother this six foot. I want the tall brother, right? I, I want the brother with the cool box. He looks like he got some swag. I bet he can hoop. I want the brother. I want the brother wearing wearing the, uh, the, the 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 Jordans. I want him on my team. That's how that's how men are picking women in, in, in today's world, man. And the thing is, this bro, most men have absolutely no idea. They have absolutely no idea, man, why their world is going to crap. They have, they have no idea why their world is going to crap. Life is going good. They're grinding. They're hustling. They got a good job. They have they have plans and goals and aspirations. But it's like, man, they look around and they're like, man, my world is not what it's supposed to be. And I have no idea why. It's because the women you're choosing to entertain, bro. It's because the women you're choosing to entertain. Again, again, men are choosing women like a game of pickup basketball. But because of these attributes they see on surface level. Even the NFL has more sense than that, man. Think about when the NFL is getting ready to draft the person or, or, or want to bring somebody on the team. Hell, they can, look at, they can look at highlight reels all day. They can say, yeah, you won the Heisman. Yeah, you got defensive player of the year. Yeah, you you were MVP. Yeah, yeah. You 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 got a, 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 few, a few college championships. I see what you did in high school. But instead of just bringing them on the team, what that, what that NFL scout going to do? What that NFL owner going to do? They're they going to bring them in and see what that mind do. They're going to say, yeah, you have all these, these, these attributes on, on the outside. Man, you fast as hell. But, but how does your mind work? Because, because the way your mind works is going to determine our success. You know what I'm saying? Even the NFL is smart enough to understand that. But we as men don't, we, we as men, we, we have no clue, bro. We have no clue, man, that, that when our money is funny, but we're working a hundred hours a week. Like, 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 why is that? What, like, what's taking place? When our health is going down, when our overall energy and our overall mood is going down, we have no idea, man, it's because of the, it's because of the woman we're choosing to entertain. And this is not putting, this is not putting the accountability on the woman by no means. 
you know, Soul is going to find a way to, to take accountability for it. He, you know, so I, I'm not saying, that, hey, man, these women are causing. I'm saying it's you. I'm saying it's us. It's men making the decision. It's our fault. But the thing is, you have to understand what's taking place. You have to understand what's taking place. Just a few weeks ago, man, a few weeks ago, I was talking about, I was talking about the information in, in, uh, in a singular truth. The first marriage is man. I say, you know, when, when man thinks about, when man thinks about marriage, he automatically thinks about all oh, him coming together with, with the woman. And in my book, marriage is not walking down the aisle. Marriage is not uh, uh, getting legal paperwork, getting before a preacher or a judge. That's not marriage. Marriage takes place way before that. Once you and this person begin blending energies, man, and become intimate with each other and sharing thoughts, bro, y'all married. So, so, so some of y'all married to the street corner strawberry. Some of y'all married to the, to the sister that's sleeping with every other brother every other week, man. You have to understand what marriage is. And marriage is really just a binding of souls. Or, or, you know, you, you're creating a world with this person, whether you want to or not. So when, when I talked about when I talked about the first marriage of man, I said the first marriage of man is when man finds himself. When when man takes his ego, when man takes his 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 his, his, uh, his spiritual side, and they become one thought and one singular truth. That that's the first marriage of man. Until a man can even do that, he's not even he's not even conscious or even aware of how or that he's creating his world. You know what I'm saying? He's not even conscious of it. So that's the first marriage of man when a man understands who he is and now he's a creator. Now now he's now he's become he, he's become uh, uh, in the image of the creator. Now he's become like a god. He's become a god. Right? You have to understand this. And I said this. I said I said if a man conducts the second marriage of man, which is him joining uniting forces with a woman. I said, if a man, you, if a man conducts the second marriage of man before conducting the first, oh, he's screwed. He's screwed. In other words, you have a man living in a state of chaos, getting with another woman in a state of chaos. He's screwed. But you got to understand this, man. You got to understand this. And this, this is why I say uh, a lot of men are picking women for the wrong reasons, right? You gotta understand that once you become the, once you find self, once you marry your, your higher self, you become one. You've conducted the first marriage of man. You have to understand that when you bring that woman in your world, that woman is also a god of her world, whether it's a god of confusion or whether it's, whether it's a god of understanding. But she's a god in her world. Now, now, what you're doing on your own, you creating your own world. When you bring a woman in your world, again, on whatever level. Whether it's a 30 year marriage or was a, it's, a, it's a 30 hour overnight stay from you, somebody you just met. You're blending worlds with that person. It's not even just your world anymore. Yeah, you might be cool and collected and, and, and business savvy and smart and healthy and you're living in your own bubble. But once you start entertaining a woman on an intimate level, brother, you're, you're blending worlds now. That right there was most men don't understand. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we go out to these day parties, we go out to these clubs, and we see these thick chicks, and they bad, bro. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying those women aren't, aren't suitable to be uniting with. But I'm saying if we're still in the year of your Lord, 2023, if we still, if we still basing it on big bu uh, big booties and, and, and cornrows, bro, you have to understand why your world is jacked up. So I'm asking you again, why her? That woman you celebrating a five year anniversary with. Why her, man? Why did you choose her? That woman who you hooking up with tonight. Meet, meet me at the hotel. Why her? The woman you taking out to eat tonight. You've been dating her for, for, for seven months. You still, in the back of your mind, you still say, man, there's something about her, man. After seven months, after one year, you still scratching your head like, you know what, some still, I like her, but it's still. Tell me, tell me why you still entertaining her. Why? I'm telling you, man, we, we have to do better, man. We, we have to do better with the way we're trained, cho choosing women. And I'm saying that strictly because it's messing our worlds up. It's, me it's messing up. And you can see it on the grand, you can see it on the grand, on a greater scale when like, when a quote unquote celebrity marries, marries a, a, a super thought. It's just a matter of time before this brother was on cloud nine. He's like, damn, brother was winning. Like, why is this world so jacked up now? 
Like, 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 damn, what happened? He's blending worlds. You got to understand, man, that the majority of women, are, and I say this, I've said this for, since I've been on the tube. The far majority of women aren't, aren't suitable to be, to be blending energies with, man. That's not soul saying that. That's biblical. When, a, when, a, when the Bible talked about the virtuous woman, it didn't, it didn't say it was a plethora of these women. It said these women are rare. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you this, bro. The greatest attribute that a woman can have is the attribute of attachment. The attribute of seeing you as a man, seeing you with a, as a man with direction and focus and goals and, and all this stuff. It says, you know what? I like what I see in you. I mean, yeah, you might be six foot nine and, 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 and got, I, but I like, I like the, I like what I see inside. I like, the, I like where you're going. And she can say, you know what? I want to attach to that. I want to, I want to leave my former life and attach to your life. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want to attach to who you are. Meaning, meaning before I make that decision to attach you, I'm, I'm, I'm sizing you up. I'm looking at everything you're about. I trust you and I want to attach to you. If a woman is not coming to your life with that energy, bro, it's not the right energy. You, you, you're going to be, you're going to be two separate guys pulling in separate directions. You know what I'm saying? The great, the greatest attribute a woman has had, can have, man, is the, is the, is the energy of attachment. Wanting to attach to everything about you. You got to understand this, man. The woman in your world, she had, and, and when I say this, I'm not talking about, uh, you know, it, it's on any level. The woman in your world, she had, the, the, I'm going to say it like this. The woman you choose to blend energies with, the woman you choose to create a world with, she has to see the world like you see it. I've said it a million times. She has to be your reflection. She has to be a female version of you. Not just like you and move just like you, but a female version of you, a reflection of you. She thinks like you. She sees the world like you. She moves like you. Oh, so that's being picky. Then damn it, be picky. Be picky. Stop entertaining women that don't see the world like you. Like there are certain things that I just don't entertain, right? Like, for example, I, I don't, I don't, I don't entertain politics at all. I don't care about it. I don't care who's in the White House. I don't care what color they are. I don't care what party they represent. I just, it does nothing for me. And, you know, so, so, so for a woman to come in my life and she's just heavy in politics and she's moving in, in that energy, she doesn't see the world like me. She's not a bad person. She's a, she's probably a, a wonderful woman. But she doesn't see the world like me. So, so her values and morals and her thought process, process are going to be different than my journey. Because she's going to be basing it on who, who's in the next election. Or what Trump did. Or, uh, you know. When I don't move like that. I'm not, I'm not governed by that. So, so a woman has to see the world you know, as you see it. Your morals, your value, your, your acts of kindness. If you're a brother man that likes to go out and, and feed the homeless or, or uh, uh, do some habitat for, high, for humanity, brother, if your woman is against that, don't, don't bring her along for the journey. If you love going out to the street, man, and, and ministering to your brothers, if you're a brother that's heavy in the church, if you go to church on every Sunday and every Wednesday, and your girl is like, yeah, that, 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 that ain't for me. Bro, don't try to make her fit in your program. Don't try to make her fit in your program. If you're a brother that likes to go out and, 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 and kick it on the weekend and hang out and go and, and, and hit new spots and whatever, and your woman is a couch potato and, she, and she's salty because you moving like that, but she got a big booty, brother, don't bring her along for the journey. She doesn't see the world how you see it. You know what I'm saying? If you're, if you're into spirituality, if you're into you know healing foods and arts and, and culture and and meditation and, and, and prayer and, and going to, uh, uh, to, the, to the Himalayas to meditate. If you're in that energy, bro, make sure she's in that same energy. And a lot of us aren't doing this. See, I, again, in a singular truth, I talked about the power of, of two people coming together. I talked about the power of, of two people coming together and why most relationships don't have that power. Because most relationships are going two different directions. 
the man want to move like this. The woman want to move in this direction. Not saying either one are bad and not saying that they can't have, not saying that they can't even have some successes in there. Not even saying that they can't have any, 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 any good moments in there. But that man is going to be miserable on the low because he's like, you know what? I'm trying to move full steam ahead, move full steam ahead in my direction. And, and this beautiful queen I got with me, man, like, like, like she's holding me back. Like, yeah, nighttime when, I, when I'm holding up, rubbing up against her, oh, life is good then. When I can walk by the kitchen and, and, and smack on the back, like life is good then. When I can kiss on her neck and, and look at her beautiful face, life is good then. But on an energetic level where I'm going, oh, she's handicapping me, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to a million dollars a year. And, and she still, she still want to spend every dollar we got. Like, like, like we're on two different missions. Another attribute is, man, she has to, that woman has to trust your guidance, bro. She has to trust your guidance. And that's why I said attachment is one of the greatest attributes a woman can have. Well, she's saying, you know what? I'm coming into your program. Now, now whatever decision you make, I'm with it. That's what it means to become a man's wife. Like, like I'm signing up to be on your program. I like where you're going. I like the way you move. I love the way you think. I want to be on your program. So when you're sitting there making, making life-changing decisions, hey, babe, we finna, we finna do this. We finna move this way. We finna start. We finna start. We finna take this money. We were finna, we were finna, get, we were finna get married. We're going to spend twenty thousand dollars on a marriage, on, on a wedding, forty thousand on a, on a wedding, ten thousand, fifteen thousand on a honeymoon. We're going to take this fifty or sixty thousand dollars, and we're going to buy this property. We're going to buy this land. She's going to be sad for a second. She's going to pout. She's going to let a little lip hit the ground. But 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 if she's the right one, she's going to say, "All right, babe." Like damn, like like I saw myself chilling, in, you know, chilling in a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, Zimbabwe. I saw, my, I saw myself chilling in that house in Fiji looking at the fish through the, through the bottom of the floor. I saw that. And, you know, really, I'm not into no buying no land. I'm not into buying no real estate. I'm not into, into, into buying stocks and flipping. I don't, I'm not into that. But I trust your guidance. I trust the fact that you're looking long term when I'm looking at just the now. I trust your guidance. But that she don't trust your guidance, man, she's holding you back. Because now you have to second guess every single thing you're doing. You're trying to make power moves and you sitting there like, oh, what? let me see if wifey is okay with this. No. No, brothers. Now, I understand that, that relationships, people talk about compromise and all that stuff. Compromise, when you want to go eat seafood and she want to go to a steakhouse, when you want to cook chitlins and she want to cook uh, 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 baked potatoes and, and whatever, and y'all come to an agreement, that's compromise. Oh, let, baby, let's compromise on what we're going to go tonight. We want to go to Jamaica. You want to go to, you want to go to Fiji. Let's compromise, you know, but when it comes to your purpose and where you're going and the place you have to call to get there, zero compromise, zero compromise, man. A lot of you, let me say that again, man. Cause y'all need to understand this. Marriage is all about give and take. When I say marriage, I'm talking about relationships. It's all about give and take. It's all about baby. You know you, okay, let's meet here. Let's meet in the middle. Let's do this. But when it comes to your journey, when it comes to your destination, there is zero compromise. There's zero compromise. That's why I'm saying she has to attach to you and she has to trust your judgment. There's zero compromise with that, brothers. And y'all need to understand that. Y'all need to understand that, man. A lot, y'all, y'all are letting a lot of women that are all in their emotions, y'all, y'all are basing a lot of y'all's future decisions Based on oh, how a woman is feeling now. Like, like you were you were in route. You were in route, full steam ahead. You look back and she she feeling some kind of way about something. It's like, oh well, well maybe we, we don't maybe we don't have to invest in land. Maybe we can go buy a few Birkins instead, baby. Uh, that make you happy? That's how most of y'all move, man. That's how most of y'all move, man. A woman must be fluid in her nature. She must be fluid in her nature. Meaning once I attach to this man, like Bruce Lee said, like water, like, 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 of course I'm here to, I'm here to support this man. I'm here for this man. I'm here to be his helpmate, but, but I'm water with this man. I understand that if he's, if he's a man of purpose, if he's a man of understanding, who knows where we going to be? We might be living in Texas right now, but shit, next, next, next month, next year, we might be living in Africa doing some mission work. We might, we might be living in Calabasas, working in Hollywood. We might be doing something else. 
She has to be fluid, bro. I'm going to tell you this, man. Once you understand what I'm talking about today, man, you're going to understand. You're going to understand why most men just need to be single until they find that one. I'm going to tell you, bro, you, you, you have to get to the point where, where, you, where you're single, where you're rolling solo, where you're not even, where you're not even smashing randoms on the weekend in, unless she's her. And again, when I say something like that, I'm only talking to a small few of men. I, I'm not talking to y'all common brothers. I'm not even talking to y'all. When I, I'm not even talking to the man that has no goals, that doesn't want to leave legacy, that's not trying to leave them. I'm not talking to y'all. Y'all, y'all go smash them. Matter of fact, y'all, y'all keep y'all keep them occupied so they stay out of my DM. Y'all keep them occupied so they stop distracting my other brothers that are focused. Y'all common brothers, y'all go entertain these women because they're hindering us. Right? Not talking to the men of understanding, man. You have to get to the point where you're saying, you know what? I'm good in my own energy. Like, like when I move, I'm only going to entertain. I'm only going to, I'm only going to entertain women that fit that bill. Because I understand that now that I'm aware that I'm a God, I understand that if another God comes in my world, if she's full of chaos, my world is going to crap. So again, brothers, why did you choose her? <laughs>